Hey YouTube, Paul here with Pathtech. In this video, we're gonna take a look at a new bag from Think Tank Photo. It's called the Digital Holster 150. This is a very specialized camera bag. It's a holster bag. It's focused for people that are nature photographers. If you don't wanna carry a huge backpack full of lenses and all, all your gear, and uh, you wanna ditch that extra weight, this bag might be an option for you because it allows you to wear it on a pro speed belt. It comes with a shoulder strap to support the weight. And so let's take a look and see if this might be a good fit for what you're doing. Okay folks, Digital Holster 150. Nice little brochure that comes with all Think Tank bags. Uh, we'll just toss that out of the way for the moment. On the front of the bag, you've got a nice small pocket here for some smaller items, keys, lens cap, uh, filters. Up top here, you've got a slot for a water bottle if you care to take advantage of that. Turn it over and we've got a smaller pocket here. We've got the Think Tank rain jacket in here uh, with the traditional lanyard. So all Think Tank bags come with the rain cover, which is a nice feature. You can see one of the eyelets for the uh, shoulder strap, which is gonna hook on here. We'll turn it over to this side here. And what you've got is the traditional attachment point to hook this bag onto your pro speed belt and you can either slot it in so it doesn't move or you can uh, affix it so that the belt will slide back and forth or the bag will slide back and forth as you need it all right on this side you've got a couple of straps and you've got a pocket down here if you want to put your tripod in this bag which is another really cool feature so these two straps will hold it secure at the top and then on the very top of the bag, you've got a really nice heavy duty Cordura uh, grab rail, which is perfect for throwing it in the car. There's a slot here for a business card or some small item that you wanna put in here. And if I open the bag, uh, first thing you're gonna see is a little pocket on the top. Okay, I get my hand right in there. So you got a little bit of room there for your cards and what have you. And then there's a nice protective cover here uh, for the face of your DSLR, which is a great feature. Now down the bottom, you can't see it. There's a divider that comes with the bag so that you can set the height of the bag to the camera and lens that you're working with at the time. Okay, so as you can see, I got my trusty D200 with a Sigma 70 to 200 millimeter lens with the lens hood attached. So I wanna do a real world test here with you so you can see exactly what you're getting into here. I can put this whole rig in here like so. You can hear it pulling on the Velcro a little bit down the bottom. Nice little cover there to protect the, the face of the backside of your camera. But um, I'm gonna show you a comparison between this bag and my Low Pro AW75. And there's tons of room in here to get the bag, or get the camera in and out easily without catching on anything. And I have this big bulbous, um, tripod mount here and the thing I like about this bag is that the camera just goes in and out effortlessly no issues whatsoever so let's take it out put it to the side okay so just one added perspective that I wanted to give you this is my low pro aw75 and here's the think tank digital holster 150 so right away you can see you know the 150 is designed for a much longer lens. Fair enough, no argument there. But what I wanted you to see is this perspective here. And that is when I open the bag up and just get the flap out of the way. And I do the same thing on this bag. The one thing that you really want to pay attention to is the size of the opening. Um, this bag is a little more troublesome getting your lens in and out of. All right, so let me just demonstrate that. So the big difference to do a fair comparison is that the 150 will allow you to leave the lens hood attached, which is really handy for getting the camera out of the bag and doing a, taking a quick shot. This bag will not. 
and it's a lot tighter the way that it fits the camera uh, all together. So really just up to you to make a, a, a decision as to what you're doing. Okay, the next thing that I wanted to show you is that in the event that you want to take an additional lens with you, this bag will accommodate that. And the AW75 was doing the same thing. It would allow you to, to put another small pouch on the side of the bag. Um, this bag works very well with any of the, the pouches that I have. Um, and the other thing that this bag does very well, it allows you to attach a harness system shoulder belt to the top of the bag like so and give you some extra support even after you've run your pro speed belt through the back side of the bag. So really what you have to do is decide that if you're looking for a bag where you don't need to have the lens hood attached or you want to carry a much larger lens, then the 150 is definitely going to be the bag for you. And then if you're looking for something smaller, uh, Think Tank has a whole line. So we just take a quick look here, and you can see that you've got a digital holster 5, uh, there's a 10, there's a 20, there's a 30, and there's a 50 in addition to the 150. So you've got quite a range that you can draw from to fit whatever lens and camera combination uh, that you might have. Okay, last but not least, for those of you that perhaps haven't seen the Think Tank Pro Speed Belt or haven't used one before, and if you haven't, um, this is my setup. I, I don't go anywhere without these two bags if I'm doing a shoot. I would highly uh, encourage you to check into a Pro Speed Belt because, man, having the weight on your shoulders, I find, is harder than having it on your waist. But I digress. So really, all there is getting yourself hooked up here, you have two options. Once you open the flap out of the way, then it's really just a matter of if you want the belt to be able to slide, you want the pouch to be able to slide on the belt, you hook it up this way. If you want it to be fixed, then you're simply running the plastic tab through the loop on the Pro Speed belt and you set it up the way you want it. That's really all there is to it. And then now your belt is hooked on and you're ready to go. So all in all, folks, I think this is another terrific bag from Think Tank Photo. Um, just, you know, to give you full disclosure, Think Tank Photos has sponsored me for a long time, okay? So this bag was sent to me to do a review. But um, I make it clear to any affiliates that I work with that, you know, I'm going to do a fair review. If I see something I don't like or something that's not working, uh, I'm going to say so in the videos. But um, from what I can see here so far, I think Think Tank has another great bag. It's really just a matter of how big a lens that you want to use with the bag and, and your specific use uh, or intention for the bag. So yeah, by all means, go out and purchase this bag with confidence and take advantage of the link in the description of this video. Uh, you'll save a few bucks. You might get a free item from Think Tank Photo. And uh, thanks for watching. Okay guys, that's it for this one. I just thought I'd uh, share something with you. I posted a new site, PT Photo and Gear Reviews. Uh, it's a new website, which is a companion site to my YouTube channel. And I'm gonna put offers from affiliates there. And in the case of Think Tank Photo, if you purchase something from them that's $50 and above, they offer free shipping anywhere in the US. And they usually offer free gifts that go along with um, connecting in through affiliate links. It's really no cost to you. It helps me out a little bit. And if you want to take advantage of that, by all means, the link will be in the description. Thanks again for watching. I hope you found the video useful and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.